Hey YouTube and welcome to my channel. Dear God, are we there yet? Where we talk about budgets and business, self-growth, and the passion to empower. So this week's podcast was about the happiness. It was about 365 days of happiness and we had an amazing speaker and um, I, I wanted to make this um, video because I haven't made one for this week about happiness because it's something that I'm always so interested to hear about people when it comes to their perspective. And so I had Jack Jacqueline Purtle on my podcast and I got her book, which is fabulous. I posted yesterday actually um, her app but that you can download and you can basically have every single day you can't skip a day which is good but then you have the physical book because as you can see i'm a lover of books my wife and i we are obsessed with books so her book 365 days to happiness and it's like because happiness is a piece of cake so i want to just take a minute real quick um oops <laughs> um i was i see i don't edit these things because i want you to know that i'm real um i was meaning to set it down here but because i want to get into my video on the reason why i decided to make it um this video about happiness. How can we truly have happiness every single day? So I pick up today's book, um, today's date, you know, not date per se, because I love it because it has date one, two, three, four, five. So you can really start in the middle of the year whenever. It's not like one of those books that like expire on April and May, which is, um, you know, to each his own, but I love this format. So, um, Personalize the when and what that shifts you to be and live in your own high for life frequency, right? So what makes you feel like you could hug the whole world? This is so awesome because, um, you know, I guess authors or not even authors, spirituality or people in a higher frequency are onto something um, that we're discovering even more and more. Everybody talks about the secret and how powerful that is, but this is more into your, you know, kind of like Mar what Martin Root said, um, the uh the his project um look at me i'm so absent-minded today um because i am embracing this moment of what i just read so bear with me so um what makes you want to have a like give a hug to someone or things that make you like feel living to your highest frequency and I often see that so many times because this is just a reminder for me that my vision for Dear God Are We There Yet is bigger than myself. My vision for Dear God Are We There Yet is exactly what day five is. When I think about it, it makes me not even cry. It makes me, if it makes me feel like a warm hug. Um, you know, become aware of the when and the what and list all of these ingredients, kind of like you're cooking. You know, um, Martin Root from Project Heaven, uh, he talks about what are things that make you feel this way. And Jacqueline says, you know what? Take these ingredients and let's make a cake. What are the ingredients? What do these things look like? What do those things feel like? And on and on, I keep thinking like, this is all has to do with making these lists and putting things down and speaking things into existence, which is something so old school that we've known, right? But could we really have 365 days worth of happiness? And the question is, that's the question to God. So dear God, can we have 365 days of happiness? But remember, the answer only lies within you. So my answer would be that happiness is something that you hold. Now, one thing, not one person, it, it, this is my opinion. Nothing can control that but yourself. And we are human, you know, um, even going through this book and just kind of like trying not to go ahead, but, um, but going through this book, it's, I'm looking in there and I'm saying to myself, wow, things, she's not saying that things won't happen and life won't happen. She's not even talking about that because it's true. Life happens. You know, God forbid, um, you know, last year I, I, I lost someone so dear to me, which is my grandmother. And I wasn't happy for that moment. I was very sad. Absolutely. I lost the, one of the most uh, pinnacle women in my life as far as that's been so dear in heart to me. Um, you know, and so... I 
I felt sad. I felt this, like, this, this, this somberness, this, um, just, I felt sad. But was I happy? Of course. I was happy with my life. But the situation of my passing of my grandmother, of course, gave me an, an you know a temporary emotion, and I still feel sad to this day. Even my uncle that passed like years ago, you know, over ten years ago, I feel sad every time summer comes and July comes. I always think about my uncle because he was so important to me as well, and I feel sad at those moments that they're not there. But it doesn't mean that my happiness in my life isn't. I'm, I'm not happy, and so. Could we live 365 days out of year happiness? I absolutely think that we we might can. And I think that I think that we're human. So when things happen, we might not be happy. But what does that happiness feel in that gut, in that gut feeling, like in that moment? And no matter what the external is going on in your life, are you happy as a person with who you are? No matter all the improvements you want to do in your life, we all know we want to, you know, be improve something in our life. But I feel like we have to work on those ingredients. And today, really, you know, this this day five really kind of like opened my mind because I'm just like oh wow these are the ingredients that I keep hearing over and over again write down what makes you happy write down that feeling write down you know um, you know get you a book like this where you can discover something new every day and don't skip forward like I was trying to do um, but the app does that too where you can't you can't go forward um, or get self discovery programs that are attached for you to um, discover life in another way or through another, you know, set of eyes per se, you know? So happiness is what you make it to be. You know, you could be sad, you could be frustrated, you could be angry, you could be disappointed, but are you so happy? Dear God, can I still be happy? And I look back and, um, you know, even at my worst of my life, my worst, 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 worst times of my life, I can genuinely say I was happy um, but I wasn't happy with where I was at or what was I doing because those are all these things that are in my mind that make me say, oh, well, if you, you know, if you become uh, this type of author, then that will make you more happy. If you have this type of money, that will make you more happy. And that is not true because celebrities, authors, people will tell you that is not true. You can have everything in the world and it will not make you happy. And um, love is something that is, 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 is priceless like true love is priceless and that can make someone happy um time i say this over and over again time is priceless and you can't get that back that is happiness so whatever happiness is to you stick to it i believe that we can be some sort of happiness every day but some days we're gonna have different emotions and that is fine that is fine as long as we know what those ingredients are so I want to thank Jacqueline Perdo for this, um, for writing this book, um, the step-by-step -step guide to being happy. Um, it's not an easy fix. So don't think you're going to buy a book and have, a, have an easy fix. You have to put this, you know, and have fun within your own life and, and don't be scared to get the anger and all those emotions. Cause that's part of who we are. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think we can, uh, um, be happy to a, a certain extent as far as, you know, like, the deepness that those ingredients, you know, health, um, or even when you're not in the best health, you could still be happy to have the people around you or the people that love you to, you know, to be there for you. So happiness is different for everyone. Find your 365 days of happiness and try even, you know, I sometimes live, my, my wife says this to me sometimes that I live in a unicorn land, but it's not that it's because you know, there's so much, there's so much beauty and, and greatness and no matter all the rejections or all the bad things or all the things that I, might not come my way, you know, I tell myself that like, I have to be true. As long as I'm who I am and true to I am, I will always be happy because that is my living, my true self and my true being. So live your true self, live your true being. And I'm promise you happiness will follow right along because we can't control things in life. We cannot until next time.
Thank you for watching my channel, Dear God, Are We There Yet? Listen to the podcast every Tuesday. Um, and I didn't speak any Spanish on this uh, episode today. I guess I was on a roll. Ya tu sabe. When I'm on a roll, ya tu sabe, prima. Ta bien. Bye.